Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. Nice seeing you all. It has been a while. Um, it's probably the longest break I've ever taken from filming videos. It's been about almost two months. The last ones I uploaded were all pre-recorded, um, but I just wasn't ready or in the mood to film. I still feel weird. I feel like I don't know how to do it. Like, I don't know why. I guess it's because I took like such a big break. Um, I usually, I, that's probably the longest break I've ever taken since I was maybe 15, 16 years old. I've posted regularly for a very, very long time. So it was a big break, much needed break. Um, but I wanted to film today. I finally like got ready and left my house because if not, I literally will just lay there all day being completely honest with you guys unless I'm hanging out with my friends. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys updates on how I'm doing. And first off, before we start, I just wanna say thank you all so much for being so patient, so kind, so sweet to me and my family. Um, we all appreciate it so, so much. And you guys are the best, you really, really are. And I have the nicest subscribers in the world. I do not like how my hair looks. <laughs> Okay, well, mm, I have not had an ice caramel macchiato in so long, and the Christmas drinks come out tomorrow. So I will definitely be wanting to try those. But I already went through the Taco Bell drive through I'm so excited. I've been getting a lot of fast food recently. I cooked for like the first time in like a month and a half the other day. I've just been like door dashing and getting takeout. I don't know, I just don't feel like cooking. So today I was really in the mood for Taco Bell and the worker was so nice. And same with Starbucks. Like I feel like recently the workers have been so, so nice. I just got my favorite cheesy gordita crunch with the Doritos Loco shell inside. Ooh, and I added sour cream. This looks so good. Mmm. Nice and hot. So this is my all-time favorite. And then I always get a side of chipotle sauce as well to dip. And then I got cheesy fiesta potatoes. Shake them up. They didn't give me a fork, but luckily I have one in my car. And some hot sauce. So it is almost 2 p.m. I haven't ate yet. So I'm gonna just take a bite and then we will, I'll give you guys some life updates and all of that. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm. I think these are new shells. They're very crispy. Like, I feel like they're a little bit thicker. I don't know if they changed them or not, but this is good. So, lots of you guys have been asking, like, how am I doing since the accident? Um, honestly, I don't know. Like, I, I'm i fine, I guess. But, like, that was definitely the worst thing that I think could ever happen, like, to anyone. And definitely the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. And I'm sure my family members can all agree, too. Um, it's truly a nightmare and it still does not seem real like it's crazy like it feels like he just vanished like it's just such a weird thing and it's because he was so healthy and he was only like halfway through of his life and so healthy like he shouldn't have died it's all because of someone else's stupid actions and then it makes us think like oh what if like they never came over to my house it would have never happened. And like my mom texted me that day. Mmm. Wow, this taco has so much sauce in it. And it is so messy. So, so messy. Uh, my mom texted me that day and was like, do you want me to bring over chili later? And like hang out. Want us to come over and bring cookie. And I like was just feeling lazy that day. Like not... 
I, I didn't know. I was like, eh. It was like a 90% chance that I was gonna say, no, don't come over. But then I'm like, okay, I need to like do something. Like I've just been doing nothing all day. Like I need to do something. So I said, yeah, come over. And then I'm like, I should have told them not to come over. So it's just like ridiculous like how this other person ruined like our family's lives forever and it's also so sad seeing my mom so sad like and lonely like me and my brother both hate seeing that as well <laughs> this is messy so yeah, it's been really, really hard. Some days are better than others. Um, we we may do therapy. I'm not sure. We were waiting until we got insurance again since all of our insurance and everything was with my dad and his work. So, yeah. Things are going to be very different and never will be the same, which is so sad because... You guys saw how awesome my dad was, and we were like this close, like the same person. Like I'll see a TikTok, or like anything, watch a movie, or like a new show, I'm not trying to cry. A show we loved to watch together, The Sinner. They came out with a new season. I'm just like, so many new movies coming out. And it's like, I wish I could like, tell him or see it with him. I was not wanting to cry today. I did my makeup. <laughs> but, I've been trying to stay busy. Hanging out with my friends definitely helps. We've been going to pumpkin patches haunted houses. We painted and carved pumpkins like three times. <laughs> We've been watching like movies every single week. So yeah, hanging out with all of them definitely helps. We went to, did two Halloween parties, which I love dressing up. Halloween is like my favorite holiday. So I'm glad I still got to go out and do that. But yeah. If I'm not hanging out with like anyone, I, I feel like I just literally sit there and do nothing. Except not these past few days, because I got a puppy. So I've been really doing a lot, which is keeping me busy at least, but also it's like, oh, I wasn't even getting sleep in the first place. But it was like meant to be, and seeing her, she's so sad. She, it's like crazy how dogs like can sense your emotion, and also she misses Cookie. When Cookie would come over, probably like three times a week or more, Cookie was always coming over, or I would always be going to my parents' house and bringing Hershey to go see Cookie. At first she was having a bad day, I would say, I'm bringing Hershey over like she needs to play with Cookie. And Hershey loved a cookie. So then, when she walked into my mom's house, my parents' house, and saw like no cookie there, she was just like running around pacing, looking in every room, going outside, inside, like looking for her. And it just, she wasn't eating at all like at all so I took her to the vex I'm like maybe she has like something wrong with her but like no she was just like literally sad and I'm like she needs a friend and my mom's not ready for another dog yet and she doesn't know if she wants like a puppy because obviously puppies are so much work so we're gonna win on that maybe if we find a dog like at a shelter or something I don't know it depends what type of dog she wants but we'll figure that out like later when the time is right me, I was like, I want a puppy. 
and then my close friend, he knows knows someone that just had a litter of French Bulldogs. I was like, and I went to the shelter with my friend to look at the shelter dogs. And we only have like one shelter place near me. The other ones are probably like hours away. Um, and all the dogs were like huge, huge dogs. And I, I wouldn't want a big dog right now. Maybe in the future one day, like I love Dobermans and stuff. And I think pit bulls are very sweet. Like I'm not like against pit bulls or anything. But like that's not the type of dog I'd want. Like a dog that could like stand up and be taller than me. I'm only 5'2". So like I think I would just be scared of the dog. But yeah. And then I looked at the cats too. Because I still want a cat. But nothing. I like just didn't bond with any. And then yeah. He was like my friend just had a litter of French bulldogs. I was like ooh. And then when I went to go meet her, there was one left. He, like, saved one for me. They were moving to the same part of Columbus where Hershey was from. Columbus, Ohio is huge. Like, there is so many cities. Like, so many. And where they were moving is where Hershey was from. So I was like... I think that's meant to be. So I went with it and I got her right at eight weeks old, just the day before Halloween. And her, she is so happy. So happy. And she is such a little baby. Her name is Mochi. I'll do a video with her soon. I'll probably post it on my second channel, which is Steph's Vlogs. But she's such a sweetie. She's so little. Like, Hershey, I think I got her at 15 weeks old. And Mochi is only 8 weeks old. So, she's super little. So, yeah. That's exciting. I just wish I could tell my dad and be like, I got a dog. Like, he has no idea. And it's like... Or like just like talk to him it's like I get no answer like it's like it's not the same and uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions I'll do a Q&A like later on especially because I can't give out all the details yet since it's going to be going to court um, but I will once I am able to trust me and um, yeah it's just I'm like so like angry so angry but I know some of you guys are asking me if I saw any like if I see any signs and the first couple days I was which they say like when a spirit just passes away like the spirit is still here or the, the soul is still like here so they can give you more signs but I also think I might have just been losing my mind from going on like three days with no sleep The microwave randomly beeped at the time the accident happened. With the number seven. That has happened one more time about a week ago. But also, it might just because I it might just be because there's like more time left and I clicked like stop and took my food out. And it beeped like hours later. I'm not sure. That's happened and then another time. I heard like the day after I heard a phone ringing and it was just me and my mom in my house at the time the phone ringing sounded like it was from like like behind us and I was like your phone's ringing and she's like I don't hear anything I'm like I can literally hear it like vibrating and then she put, took her phone out of her pocket and opened it up and she had no missed calls but the contact photo of my dad was open so we thought that was kind of weird, but she didn't hear like the, the call. But it's also like, I think I was maybe losing it. Like it's, is it just coincidences or is it signs? I'll never know. And then I was sitting outside and this dove like sat on the peak of my roof and it was just like staring at me for like a long time. 
Like usually birds fly away. It was like up there for a few minutes. Just like looking down. So I don't know. If anything, that's like all I've noticed as signs. Other than that, it feels like he just like disappeared and then like stopped talking to us. And poor Cookie too, like that poor, poor baby. She had like no idea what was going on. So my dad like saw it coming and like yelled like, what is this guy doing? Cause he was literally in their lane coming head on. Like that is so terrifying, so terrifying. And Cookie probably like was just like just laying down in the back seat. Poor Cookie. My first dog using a little fork nub. And it like it makes me so sickened like knowing how my mom like had to see inside of that car and like like him not even looking like him anymore like that's traumatizing. So traumatizing. And I think like me being there too and like riding in the ambulance and I just kept asking them like is he alive or not? And them like not telling me. Like I was like, like, oh my gosh, it's like the worst thing ever. And I was just staring outside of the ambulance window, like waiting for them to take him out on a stretcher. And then he just like never came out. And they didn't tell us he like passed away until we got to the hospital. So it was like an unknown, like I, me and my brother were like, he'll be okay. Like let's, he'll be okay. Like the ambulance are here. But my mom was like, like he's not. Oh my, no. It's just like miserable because it shouldn't have happened. All because of someone else. And that person walks away perfectly fine. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm actually full already. I haven't been eating as much and like I get full so quickly. That's why I was like, I don't even know what to film. Like I can't, I'm like full. Whew. But I have a return to do at Kohl's from Amazon. I got this cat bed because it said puppies like hiding in it. They feel safer. But it is so, so like gross feeling. So I'm gonna return that because that was forty dollars. I was gonna just like maybe give it to someone or I don't know. But I was like, shoot, that was forty bucks. I am returning that. And then I was just gonna stop at Home Goods and see if they have any like new cute Christmas stuff. Because I finally got out to do something today. I got Starbucks. And it's actually really nice out. It's like 70 degrees and I'm in a hoodie and jeans. It's too hot. Mm. Well guys, let me know down in the comments like what other videos you'd like to see me do. Um, at some point I will do a Q and A, but I don't know. Like, do you guys have questions? I don't know what there would really be questions on, other than like, how are we all doing? Because obviously I don't want to go too into detail and make like it's it's like gruesome. Like, yeah. We're still waiting on a little bit more information to come back in. It takes forever, but should be here soon. We have like most of it, but we're waiting on a little bit more before we can like finalize whatever. Well guys, 
It's nice filming a video again, honestly. Like, I always do love filming videos, so I'm gonna try to start getting back into it again. And yeah, so thank you all so much for watching. And again, thank you all so much for all the love and support. And also with the GoFundMe too to help my mom. It's like amazing how many people loved and cared for my dad and how he hit 100K. And he always wanted 100K. And of course it had to happen after he was gone. But I hung the plaque. Oh wait, no, I don't have the plaque. Oh yeah, I gotta go into his email and do that. It's so weird going into like his iPad and like his email and everything. Like I don't like it. But I totally forgot about that. I have to request the plaque now that he hit 100K. But I'll hang that in my office next to mine. All right. Love you all. Bye.